Hello, my name is Adrian Richards and in this uh, video, which is part of our series of videos on labia minora reduction, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the recovery period following your surgery. So, first thing is obviously you have your surgery, normally it's performed under general anaesthetic, um, but it can be performed under sedation or in fact under local anaesthetic if you would prefer. When you wake up um, or following surgery, it's very important to keep the area elevated and I would typically ask you to keep um, your uh, bottom on a couple of extra pillows um, which uh, uh, reduces the blood flow to the area um, and um, reduces swelling because it can be more comfortable for you if it's uh, less swollen. Also I ask you to keep the area cool, we've got special ice packs um, and cool packs which we ask you to apply to the area because elevation and cool packs are going to reduce the swelling um, and going to make everything uh, much uh, less swollen and more comfortable for you in that recovery period. So normally we keep you in for that day, you can go home that night to rest for the next couple of days or you know you can stay in with us overnight in the hospital if you'd prefer. All the stitches are absorbable so they're not going to need to be removed, they will just dissolve naturally and fall out in their, in their own time. So in the first few days following surgery you need to rest, reduce as much activity as normal so not too much walking around because that's going to create swelling to the area um, which is going to make everything a bit more tender for you. So what we tend to do is ask you to rest really mostly in bed for the first couple of days, keep your feet and ankles uh, moving um, just so you keep the circulation going to the uh, legs um, and apply cool packs to the area. After two to three days, swelling should be starting to go down, although it's very variable. Some people swell more than others, and it, it, you know, it's just really uh, very variable between different individuals. By a week, certainly you should be up and around, um, and, and, the, and the swelling should uh, be much uh, reduced. And at that stage, we'll normally get you back to uh, check the area and check everything's uh, healing well. Um, but in most cases, you won't need the stitches to be removed. From a week, you can start increasing your normal activities, more, more uh, walking about, perhaps um, return back to work if your work doesn't involve too much physical activities. Perhaps worth leaving it for a couple of weeks if your work does involve more um, physical activities. Really by about four weeks, most of the stitches will then have absorbed um, and things are pretty much back to uh, normal and you can you know, um, go back to the uh, gym uh, as normal. But I do tend to advise people to start off gently in the uh, gym, lower body exercises and build up slowly. Don't go back to uh, the workout immediately that you did before. Uh, sexual intercourse is normally okay after about three weeks um, and you, you know, by that time everything's normally pretty stable. Um, just make sure everything's well lubricated initially uh, when you do resume your sexual activities. Following uh, that, the area should fully settle down. Swelling will um, decrease uh, in the uh, you know, weeks and months following surgery and really should probably be uh, mostly dispersed by six uh, uh, weeks, two months following uh, the operation. And at that stage, really, the area should look pretty normal. The scars are going to be well concealed in the natural creases of the area, either side of the base of your labia minora, if you've had the more modern uh, wedge excision. And uh, to all intents and purposes, you'll be absolutely normal. No one looking at the area should be able to see that you've had any surgery. Everything will function well. Lubrication should be fine. And there shouldn't be any problem with sexual activities. So overall, um, I think there is a misconception about uh, labia minora um, surgery. The people I see have real problems. It does cause them difficulty with um, clothing um, and sexual relations and also with discomfort from chafing. Surgery is uh, very simple, uh, can produce you know, really good results that will be indetectable. And uh, I think in most cases, most people who have surgery are very pleased they have had surgery and certainly it significantly improved their self-confidence and improve the way they feel about themselves. So if you are interested in surgery, please feel free to contact us via our email address or by phoning us and uh, we'd love to uh, see you to discuss how this type of surgery could help you.